Plus of tricky ruins. Uh, what is this? So it only has four blue coins. Oh, okay. I know what this is uh, supposed to be. I think I know. Uh, I think I know where two of them are. All right. Oh, look at that! Those massive royal coins. It's just the with the boat. Not gonna bother with it. Bother with it though. Okay, this is where you, when you're supposed to learn about this whole uh, gimmick. You know, just spray uh, things and then passages open. Maybe. Yeah, a massive platforming section, which I failed. <laughs> okay. I think, yeah, there's a blue coin hidden in here. That one's pretty simple. We won relatively near it as well. Yeah. Okay. This will close eventually, so you can't just stand here forever. Oh crap. Go! Considering what enemies are here, I wonder who, if you can guess who we're fighting again. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that would a bit. That would be something else. Wonder how. Wonder how that would work in Mario Sunshine. Okay, there are only well, four. Last two are near to shine, so. Okay. Okay, I know where those are then, because uh, you you have to s spray some pots basically. Pretty straightforward episode. I like I like the idea of the uh, the whole spraying so, uh, a part of the wall, and he had to do a platforming sequence. And he's just kind of here. <laughs> Not a deal. Yep. Yeah, I really want to try and get this without getting the tentacle off. Oh well, whatever. This is a really messy fight right now. Let's back up a little bit. There we go. I wonder if I can just ignore him and just go through. Yeah. Oh, oh crap. Oh, okay. I didn't. I wasn't aware that the the goop actually on his face actually affected anything. Okay, no. Are there any coins around her? No. Oh crap! Am I actually gonna die? To oh, okay. There we go. What? Thank you. Thanks shooting at you. Oh, I didn't know he could do that. That's interesting. Okay, just wait for him to get all his tentacles ready. Okay, we should be fine now. Whoa, his tentacles are not attached to his body at all. Okay. 
Yeah, it's just these two. I don't know if spraying any of the others do anything. Maybe a one up. Oh, just a random coin. Oh, whatever. Okay, this is one of the more infamous ones. Does that make sense, I guess? Just grabbing coins. A bottle. Yeah, this is kind of weird, but... Yeah, you just have to get red coins here. Um, can be a little bit dangerous, but hopefully we won't have too much issues. And there's like random air currents. Because why not? Let's see how they have fish in this bottle. How do they breathe? <laughs> how, uh, like... Yeah, I, I have no idea. There's like... All this stuff... On, in a bottle. There's also a nice little easter egg. Like, if you like... I don't want to do this too much because I've got air to worry about, but... If you like, move the camera around, uh, you can find a random... Uh, like book just hidden around this area um, I have no idea uh, if it has any meaning um, or it's just some s silly Easter egg they just put in for some reason from a, a super monkey ball stage for some reason that would be pretty funny Oh, come on. No! Get away. I have no idea if you can, like, do anything against the fish. Punch under water in Mario 64, right? Uh. I think? I don't know if it really did anything besides, like, grab a shell. wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that's, uh, that wasn't... That was much easier than I remember. I think what usually gave me an issue is that I end up, like, just losing track of myself and just end up just not... end up just having seven out of eight red coins for ages and then I just drown. Okay, now we're going to get to the real solution. Okay, uh, any blue coins? They're all underwater. Oh. Oh, okay, I think I know, I, okay, I think I remember, Th these, this is going to be interesting because um, it's very easy to lose track of yourself in this place. We're going to have to do, we're going to deal with the boss first because uh, it's going to get really messy otherwise. So you just go up here and then...
No, I should have uh, PTSD from Unagi the Ill, don't worry, because it's nowhere near that terrifying. Enemies of Mario 64 are just ugly, let's... Yeah. Let's, let's be honest about that. Yeah, it's like, a lot of uh, the enemy, or just character designs in 64 in general are just... Ugly in the sen in the sense that it just comes to uncanny valley territory, where it's just like... It's just creepy. <laughs> and Dory looks kind of out of place. Yeah. I... I really like Dory's Ralt's redesign. Ralt's the remake. Yeah, Ralt's, yeah. Ralt's the remake on DS did kind of make everything... more. Yeah. It, I really like the the redesign they gave they gave Dory, and that's it's basically just the design they go with nowadays. It's a lot. It's like, it's a, it's, the, the Dory design is adorable. <laughs> just for those who haven't seen Dory's redesign, it's just like a dolphin, the Mario dolphin mixed with a plesiosaur. Yeah, it's uh, what they used in Odyssey, I believe. And them goggles for no reason, but. It, because it's cute, we're gonna, we all accept it. Yeah. Because I, um, I like Dorian OG Mario 64, but, um, I always, I always kind of get paranoid that, um, that she's just gonna randomly come and eat me for some reason. Or just wants friends. I should probably go and get some coins. Is this the first fully underwater boss in Mario in a Mario game? Um, I don't think that was one in '64. I was under the impression you had to fight one of the Koopalings underwater in Mario World. Oh, oh, oh that's kind of true, actually. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. Well, at least I know that happens in uh, in one of the new Super Mario Bros. games. I think Wendy. I could be wrong. I'm gonna have to research this now. Yeah. Alright. Oh crap. Creative boss though. Just gonna act as a dentist in a sense. Oh crap. Nope. I appreciate all the coins. I think you can make these uh, bubbles like water and just. I f they should be able to refill your air. I'm not sure how that works. Do you, do you have like any like bad memories of like Mario 64 enemies? I played the cuter Mario 64 DS and that really. Oh okay. What, what what's your I never I never saw, I never saw that haunted piano either, so Oh, okay. Have you played the uh, original 64 though at least? Okay. What's your, what's your experience with it? Do you have any, uh, many experiences with it? Oh, not really. 
Okay. Okay, so uh, I know the blue coins are like on top of some of these pillars. How many are there? Four. Four, okay. Two on the highest pillars, two on the middle level pillars. Okay. I have to go really high up for this. There's also no music right now. one up there and then there's one more Says. Nope. Ah, I really don't like doing this. Okay, let's try and look again. Uh, man, it does not feel safe. <laughs> it would be nice if they gave you a bit more time, but... Yeah. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, that took a while. Okay, let's just get the shine sprite. It's all the way down there. Can you think of any, like, decent water levels in the Mario game? Because, um, most of the time they... Tend to be some of my least favorite levels, to be honest. You're talking about 3D Mario or 2D Mario? No, I just Mario in general. Or levels in 2D Mario are usually tolerable. Mm. Like, uh, we're talking about underwater levels, right? Yeah, completely underwater, yeah. Uh, games had decent underwater levels, but they gave you a green shell to traverse with. Yeah. I liked Odyssey's, um, um, what was the kingdom called? I want the fish ladies. 
Um, Lake Kingdom, I think. Hmm. Yeah, that one. That one's. I really like the look of that one. Uh, the it's a nice texture in the walls and stuff. This is this is uh, this episode is basically just another filler episode because we we've uh, cleared the water out, um, and like the main plot of the world is done. Um, so they don't really have they don't really have anything else to do. So it's just have them. Um, it will be Antissimo just appear again for a race, because why not? I checked oh. the Mario wiki. What the heck? Okay. I didn't know At that the was Mario there. wiki, there are no underwater battles in Mario World. Oh. I forgot. I, Mario 3 is all just basically the same boss, in, isn't it? So. I haven't played enough of Mario 3 to judge. From, from what I understand, it's more or less the same general fight with the Sometimes, like, a, a projectile or whatever. <laughs> this one's pretty, pretty simple from what I remember. I think he, like, bumped into something. I'm not the turbo nozzle on this mission. Uh, I, I, maybe, but... It's really easy regardless, so you don't really need it. Well, yeah, I guess Sunshine was the first Mario platformer to have a completely underwater boss battle. That's interesting, then. Huh. Do you remember it's appropriate. it? I guess it is appropriate, yeah. What are you say? Um, do you remember if the galaxy game- oh, by the way, uh, blue coins? So, five? No. Uh, okay. Uh, I was just gonna ask if, you, if there are any water bosses in the galaxy series. That I can recall. Hmm. You fight, um, what's her, what's that giant magic food the name? Carmella? Camella? Camella, You fight her yeah. above, above water, but you don't ever actually use it. Yeah. Oh no, there is one. Uh, the the uh, king fin, bone bone fin, whatever the guy's called. Okay, I, I have not played either of those games in I, a decade. <laughs> yeah, it is. I I literally just remembered that one. The shell secrets. Okay, this is the level I was talking about. Um, so I don't remember where the turbo nozzle is supposed to be, but I know there is. Because like you're supposed to get the these O blue coins with the uh, turbo, because you're too slow otherwise. You don't need the turbo nozzle; just spray it from atop the boathouse. I suppose so, but if we're gonna get the uh, coins, we might as well go and get it while we're here. Okay, I hope that it's uh, where this blue coin used to be. Yep. Oh. Dang it. Okay, at least I know where it is. That's, that's good. So, so uh, since this is basically your first, uh, like, look through uh, Noki Bay, what, what should... How's your general opinion been? It's serene, honestly. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I've, like... I think, like, back in, um... A few parts ago... Like, we were talking about, um... Like... Just l level themes and whatnot. And, um, I, I honestly, I honestly think, like, Mario Sunshine, um, is one of the more creative Mario games in that regard, because, like, a lot of these areas we, we've never really seen before in this series, and we'll really never see again. 
and I think they do a good job in just building atmosphere for the for the areas. It's just makes it feel like a nice world to be be around. Minus all the graffiti nonsense, but it's not really Al Delfino's fault. Okay. Here we've done all blue guns. Now the actual fun begins. This is where the fun begins. Soon, Harry, soon. <laughs> Yeah. So if you're traveling across the water, that means you never run out of the water. Yep. So you can literally tur use the turbine also on the water as long as you want. Yeah, I can run on the water. Suck it, Sonic! It is basically, it's basically um, doing the boost on the water before Sonic Unleashed, so I guess you have a point. <laughs> Mamma mia. Am I the only one that gets thrown off when I when I use the Sonic costume in Mario Maker? Because like when you go into a full run, he does he does a roll animation, and it always makes me think you can hurt enemies with it, and you can't. Um, some memory. Yeah. You just get fifty coins by doing that alone. <laughs> I get a one hundred coin shine by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, I still got the coins down there and all these. What do you say? You have to use your flood. Two thousand eleven. I will wear your. I will wear your skin. Oh gosh. Okay, you're gonna use I'm this. Dude. My Mario voice was never good, but sounds even worse than usual. <laughs> Can you do a Luigi? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, no, I don't, I don't know. Bang, bang. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Charles says he has difficulties doing Luigi's voice. Oh, does he? That's apparently the reason why Luigi's voice clips in the first two Smash Bros. Game, Smash Bros. games are just pitched up Mario clips. Huh. That's actually kind of interesting. Play Melee first and then playing Mario Party 6 and realizing that Luigi sounded like two different people despite actually being the same actor. Yeah. I mean, I it's really it's really clear in uh, in Melee specifically that it's a high-pitched Mario voice. So, uh, Star KO scream. Yeah. Okay. Wrong to say they should have kept that in the later games. That would be pretty amusing. <laughs> okay. This voice casting is just kind of weird in general. Yeah. Okay, that was really okay. That was really quick. Yeah, this one's actually fun. Like I said, so it's uh, it's good. It's good. It's a nice change of pace after all the other ones. I guess this is the part where they just said we're almost done with this game. Screw it. I suppose so. That does make me wonder how uh, games are designed, though, like in terms of like the levels they uh, develop. Like, do they just do it in uh, the order you you uh, play the levels in? Or do they just, I don't, not necessarily pick what, pick and choose, but like, no idea. It's uh, it's interesting to think about. I because I I have heard like of um, like some games 
where uh, like a specific level is the first one they make and then they go from there. I know Mumbo's Mountain was the first level in Banjo Kazooie that they made. Um, so, that's interesting. Game de development is an interesting process. That uneven blue coin number is uh, taunting me. I'm not for the real shine. <laughs> yeah. Now that I think about it, this is also kind of a filler shine because. This really doesn't really have anything to do with uh, the main plot either, but it's a nice, it's another uh, nice little uh, secret course platforming challenge, and this uh, those always filler levels. That's a that's a fair point. Yeah, I guess uh, I, I'm yeah. It, it's a I, I'm fine with uh, there's been some filler if it if it warrants having some fun level design regardless. Another red point mission. Yeah, we don't need more of those. I know there's at least one more in the in the um last major world. Oh no, there's another one in this world too. So we're not done with that yet. Just a galaxy prototype. <laughs> In a sense, yeah. Gosh. I like. Oh, okay. I like this stuff though because um, it makes you. It forces you to get some use out of the wall jump in cre creative ways. And um, for this point, in oh, okay. For this point in the game, I think it's uh, I think it makes sense for to do this. Yeah, to, yeah. It gets even more dangerous. Okay. Okay. And then these things come back. Yeah, I, I, I like I like this one quite a bit because it's not it's not too crazy, but it's a uh, okay. Yep, I got stuck on something. I got stuck on the platform. But yeah, it's um. I, th for this point in the game, I think it's uh, decently challenging enough without being too crazy out there. Just gotta be patient. Not that acapella. This is probably one of my favorite versions of the regular Mario, like, ground theme. Mind Mario games using more acapella. That would be cool. Maybe not necessarily at, like, twin sanity levels of acapella, but maybe some tracks uh, using it would be, would be nice. A peaceful middle ground between twins between Spiral Mouth and Super Mario Brothers Boz. Yeah, I suppose so. I want a Spiral Ma Spiral Mouth version of the new Super Mario Bros. team. That'd be cool. What what do they do nowadays? Band itself doesn't exist anymore. Oh, that's unfortunate.
What was the last thing they did? Uh. Oh crap. It's like weirdly shaped Jenga blocks or something. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. I approve of that one, of that one quite a bit. It's probably one of the... That might actually be my favourite secret course in the game now that I think about it. But we aren't done with it yet because, as you know... Where there's a secret course, there's a red coin challenge, because this game doesn't want to let go of red coins. They don't. They're... they don't. They're... They broke up. <laughs> or at least they're... Anything since... Goodness gracious. Yeah. So they haven't collectively done anything since tag team racing. Ah, uh, okay. What what do they do in tag team? Like, uh... They compose the main theme. Okay. Hmm. Some other things, but I think the majority of the music was done by Radical in-house composer. Okay. Hmm. I don't know who was, who was responsible for the remixes in Insane Trilogy. That's a good point, uh, cause like all the uh, all I see credited is um just VV. Oops, <laughs> I forgot to turn hover on. <laughs> uh, it just says VV sound team or, or whatever, which uh, really could mean anything. I guess it's just a bunch of people working on it, but it would be nice to have like actual names associated with it. Okay, I don't remember where these ones are at all, so hopefully this won't be too bad. Oh crap! Don't miss the pole, pole. One here. Ooh. Now, this is uh, a complete joke with Hover now. <laughs> and the last one's over there. Okay. That's pretty simple. As I feel like there's a monkey's paw coming up. <laughs> oh, I... We don't have to, we don't even have to finish the whole course to get this. We are now more than two thirds of the way done with the shines. Yep. We're very close <sighs> to finishing the game at this point. Cause uh, what? Cause uh, you gotta remember, like with the all, the blue coins as well. Like, it's gonna give us a lot of shines in one in one go. Yeah. 